Good morning, good morning. Keisha Johnson here. Welcome to Waking Early for His Glory. You can find me here every Monday through Friday at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are catching the replay, please type in hashtag replay. If you are watching for the very first time, please type a number one in the comments. Great morning, Kimberly. Good morning, good morning. Don't forget to grab your anointing oil, everyone. As you all are jumping on, type in my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. Good morning, good morning, great morning, Sharon. Good morning, sorry I'm like a minute late. Good morning. Go ahead and grab your anointing oil and remember my hands are blessed. Type in my hands are blessed. Everything that I touch prospers. Everything that I touch is blessed. Everything that I touch will be multiplied in the name of Jesus. These blessed hands will lay hands on the sick. They will be healed and they will recover in Jesus name. So go ahead, grab your anointing oil and make sure that you have anointed your hands today. Great morning, everybody. Good morning, Lady Melanie. How are you? So as you all are jumping on, please go ahead and share the broadcast. <coughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody. Go ahead and share the broadcast as you are all jumping on. And after you have shared, please go ahead and type in shared in the comments. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. You all are amazing. Yes, my hands are blessed. Don't forget to grab your anointing oil or whatever kind of anointing oil it is that you use. Go ahead and grab it and make sure that you are anointing your hands every morning and you are speaking your confessions. My hands are blessed. Everything that I touch will prosper. Everything that I touch will be blessed. Everything that I touch will be multiplied in the name of Jesus, right? So let me go ahead and um, do this really quickly. And you all go ahead and share. Um, here we go. Wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Awesome. Okay, here we go. All right. So, how are you all doing? Go ahead and share in the comments what time you went to bed last night, what time you woke up this morning. You all will not believe I was so tired. I went to bed in like the 6 o'clock hour, all right? I think it was like 6.30 p.m. <laughs> that I went to bed, and I thought I was just taking a nap, and my family left me sleep, praise the Lord, and I woke up this morning at 3.30. And I woke up this morning at 3.30, so I feel really good today, really good. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and get started this morning. Um, let's go ahead and type in the comments what time did you go to bed last night, what time did you wake up this morning. And um, also please share in the comments where you are tuning in from. All right, 10.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. And go ahead and share in the comments um, what you are thankful for. So I'll go ahead and get started. If you are on this broadcast live or if you are catching the replay, that means that you were on the wake-up list. So let's just take some time to thank the Father for that. And you all type in the comments, God, I appreciate you. God, I appreciate you. We want him to know that we appreciate him on today. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we love you. Father, we bless you. We thank you, Father, for being so awesome. We thank you, Father, for being so amazing. Look, Angela, I feel good. After this weekend, I needed I needed some rest. So, Father, we bless you. We thank you for being so awesome. We thank you for being so amazing. We thank you for being God. And we appreciate you this morning father we thank you for all that you do for us all that you continue to do that's right my flesh is not the boss of me you got some yes i got some real good sleep real good sleep real good sleep i lay down at about 6 30 6 40 and i think it wasn't until like 11 30 i woke up for like a second jumped on facebook did my good night y'all post and went back to sleep <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and as you you all know what to type in the comments, right? God, I appreciate you um, Where you're tuning in from what time you went to bed last night what time you woke up this morning my hands are blessed as you are Anointing your hands this morning and I'm going to go ahead and read our opening verse for today Coming from the book of Psalm um, chapter 125 verse 1 Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion which cannot be shaken but endures forever. Psalm 125 verse 1. If someone can type that in for me. Yes, thank you for being God. That's it. Just, just thank you for being God. Right? Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, 
which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. So I'm going to read our prophetic word for today, coming from the part, Father's Heart Ministry. As I always say, such a timely word. <laughs> the Father says today, strife and contention only by pride. The Father says Tri strife and contention only by pride. Sorry about that. Someone type in pride. Trust me to litigate on your behalf in all conflicts you are facing. Somebody say, trust God. I will fight against those who fight against you. When you take a posture of peace, you are not showing weakness. And you all, Facebook is acting funny again with allowing me to share in the groups. If you all can take a moment and share um, this video in the groups that you are in or, or share this video in the groups that you know I usually share the video in, if you could be so kind and um, do that for me. And I have to look into Facebook and see what's going on. All right. I will fight against those who fight against you. When you take a posture of peace, you are not showing weakness. Others may others may bear others may bear their teeth and threaten to gnaw on you limb from limb, but they do not have the last say. We already know who has the last say. Because they are not in charge, when someone touches you or meddles in any area of your life, they are touching the pupil of my I, we already know that we are the apple of his eye, right? I will react. I will respond to, defend you, and to preserve you according to my promises. Trust in this and trust my process. Somebody say, I will trust God's process. I will trust God's process. Sorry, y'all. My voice is still trying to come back after this weekend. Trust in this and trust my process. My idea of warfare warfare is not your idea of warfare, but to the end but the end result is the same. When you are defamed, do not return to slander. Say I will not return to slander. I will not return to slander. When you are criticized, choose not to listen. Somebody type in hashtag choose. We have a choice. Somebody type in hashtag choose. When you are criticized, choose not to listen. It doesn't matter what they say. Who are they anyway? I always ask that. Who is they? <laughs> and who are they anyway? When somebody say they said they're going to think this, they're going to do this. Who are they? Or as I say, who is they anyway? <laughs> who are they anyway? It only matters what I have said. It only matters what he has said. Lay out the accusations before me and trust that I will bring the gavel of divine justice down in your favor. We don't need to respond. Lay it before the feet of Jesus and let him deal with it. Be like, oh yeah, you're messing with me. I have somebody that's going to deal with you and he's going to deal with you real good. And because of that, I need not say anything. I don't even need to say anything, right? Be gentle, says the father. Be peaceable in all your doings. Return not railing for railing or accusation for accusation. I know the path that you take. If you try to take matters into your own hands, I will just wait. <laughs> Listen to this. Try to take matters in your own hands. I will just wait until you figure out I can handle things much better than you. Right? Who is they? Not even they, right? Who is they? D-E-Y. Like, who is they anyway? <laughs> My name is Helper. Let me help. Somebody needs to hear this. My name is Helper. Let me help. That's right. Y'all type that in. Who is they anyway? I know that's not proper English, but it just sounds better than who are they anyway? Somebody needs to ask, who is they anyway? We don't even need to respond. Be like, my father will deal with you. Who is they anyway? We don't even have to waste our time, right? <laughs> I know that the I know the end from the beginning. Just stay in a spirit of humility. Humility and keep walking in love. That is so important for us to always stay in a spirit of humility and always walk in love. That is our best defense. That is our best defense. That's right. Y'all type that in. Who is they? <laughs> Who is they? I always ask, like when I'm, when I get into that, they, this, they might say that they may think this, I have to stop and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are they anyway? Who is they anyway? I know that's not proper English. It just sounds better. <laughs> when Moses was opposed, he didn't ball up his fists. He fell on his face. 
When Moses was opposed, he didn't ball up his fist. He fell on his face. When Moses was opposed, he didn't ball up his fist. He fell on his face. When he fell on his face, the earth opened up and swallowed his adversaries. Can you picture that? Don't ball up your fist. You know how we be quick and ready to fight back. Fall on your face. And it says, he fell on his face. When he fell on his face, the earth opened and swallowed his adversaries. Swallowed his adversaries. All flesh is as grass and dust only begets dust. I will occupy your enemies elsewhere. When I get through with them, they will have no time to put their minds on what you are doing. Their hands will be full with other matters. Sometimes I will even bless them away from you. Are you willing to do that for me? He's asking you this morning, are you willing to do that for me? Are you willing to do that for me? What is the difference if you get relief either way? Either way, you're going to get relief. Do we want to do it by fighting for ourselves, fighting our own battle? Or do we want to do that by stepping back and realizing that God is God? And yeah, who that be? <laughs> Y'all are funny. Whatever it sounds like to you, just we're not worried about who they are, right? Who that be? Who is they? Who are they? Who are they anyway? All of that. <laughs> What is the difference if you get relief either way? This is how I get things done. And your peace will be increased and your sweet beat will be sleep as soon as you come into cooperation with what I am doing. Somebody say, I will come into cooperation with what God is doing. I will come into cooperation with what God is doing. That's a whole lot easier than what we've been doing, right? That's a whole lot easier. We've been trying to fight our own battles, make things happen for ourselves, come into cooperation with what I'm doing, with what I'm doing. God says, I am your helper. Let me help you. All right. I am doing, um, come into cooperation with what I am doing in your situation and no longer attempting to solve things on your own. Was that not a whole entire word that can go into several different directions and as I always say such a timely word so I cannot wait to drop this in the comments after the broadcast and I want you all to read it and reread it and just see you know where the Lord wants to go with that and wants what he wants to share with you through this but for me um, it was just uh, talking about pride again that's one of those subjects um, that as long as we are living and breathing we need to talk about it, you know, because a lot of us are walking around prideful and we don't even know it. And we don't know it because of pride. Pride won't allow us to see that we are walking in pride. Um, so what do I have here? Pride is sin and it's one we throw under the rug. I need somebody to type in hashtag pride. Hold on. I need a sip of my hot lemon water. <laughs> Pride is sin, and it's one that we throw under the rug. Somebody type in hashtag pride. Hashtag pride. Yes, his way is so much better. Yes, Lady Melanie. And if we would get that, life would be so much easier. I think we think we're doing something, and I think we I think we think we know something. <laughs> but in reality, we don't know anything. We're not doing anything. You know, God, he, he knows so much better. And as he says, Come into cooperation with what I'm doing. Come into cooperation with what I am doing in your situation and no longer attempt to solve things and do things on your own. But a lot of times pride won't allow us to do it. We think we know better. We think we can do better. You know, we think we got it all covered. We think we know it all. You know, so even with that, you know, we shorten God's hand and we shorten his hand with, you know, what it is that he wants to do in our lives because we think we know it all hashtag ask me how I know and so in reality what we end up doing is making a big hot mess and then we call on him anyway right to come and help us and to fix up our mess when he's saying look I'm your helper let me help you I'm your helper let me help you so if we would just get rid of pride and just you know what God you know better come come and help me you know then we won't have to call on him to come and clean up our mess right <laughs> pride is sin and it's one we throw under the rug we can struggle with pride and not even know that we struggle with pride hashtag ask me how i know and you all know my story if you've been following me for a while so prideful and i remember the day somebody shared with me you are full of pride and i was so mad deeply offended because pride wouldn't allow me to see my own pride you know pride wouldn't allow me to see that i was prideful all right and Satan himself fell because of pride. You know, Satan himself fell because of pride. Satan himself fell 
because of pride, all right? And pride hurts us in so many ways. Hashtag ask me how I know. So with that, I say if, you know, someone has ever told you that you were prideful, you know, and you got upset or offended, just take a minute. Do like I did. Get before the Lord and ask him, am I prideful? If I am, show me my pride. Show me my pride because pride, and I say this all the time, pride is not your friend. And I will keep on saying this because pride is a liar and pride comes and it will make you think that it's your friend. Pride will make you think we BFFs. I'm here. You know, I'm here to protect you. I got you covered. Don't worry. We good. <laughs> we good. Not we're good, but we good. You know, and pride is not your friend. Pride is not your friend. It wants you to believe that it is, but pride is not your friend. Um, somebody type in Proverbs 16, 18, Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before destruction or pride goes before the fall. Pride goes before destruction or some verses, some translations say pride goes before the fall. Somebody say the Bible says, um, in Proverbs 18, 18, 12, it says, but humility goes before honor. So we know that pride goes before the fall. Pride goes before the destruction, but humility goes before honor. And Proverbs 29, 23 says, a person's pride will humble him. A person's pride will humble him. And so with that, I need you all to remember, let's be prayerful, purposeful, so never prideful. Ooh, I love that. You spoke a word this morning. That's good. Let's be prayerful, purposeful, never prideful. I love that, Meredith. Pride is dangerous. <clears throat> Somebody say pride is dangerous and pride is not my friend. Pride is dangerous and pride is not my friend. Pride is not here to protect me and pride is not my friend. Pride is a very dangerous thing. All right, so pride causes us to be ungrateful. Hashtag ask me how I know. And it causes us to forget God and all that he has done. It causes us to forget God and all that he has done. Why? Because it makes us think that we did it, <laughs> that we did something, <laughs> you know, that we did it all. And so it causes us to forget God and what God has done. Um, with that, I want to read... Um, Deuteronomy 8, Deuteronomy 8, um, verses 11 through 14, verses 11 through 14, all right, and it says, be careful, somebody say, be careful, be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God, failing to observe his commands, his laws, and his decrees that I am giving you this day. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, when you build fine houses and settle down, and when your herds and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increase and all you have is multiplied, then your heart will become proud and you will forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of the slavery. Somebody say, I remember. Somebody say, I remember. We must never forget what the Lord has done. And um, I know y'all saw a post that I put up not too long ago, just kind of remembering, and it was a post about the $20. I, I, I constantly sit and think about, you know, all that the Lord has done because I never want to forget. I never want to forget what the Lord has done. I never, ever want to get to a place where I think I did it. You know, that, that I changed my own life, that I, you know, I did all of this in my own power. And pride will allow you to think to think that. And so for me, I find that the more we meditate on what the Lord has done and just remembering where he has brought us from, um, that helps us to remain humble. That helps us to remain humble. So about somebody say this morning, I remember. I'm sorry, let me get another sip of this hot water. Thank you for my cup, Meredith. I love my cup, my New York City Starbucks cup. <laughs> so that's one sure way to keep us humble, saying, God, I remember. All right, pride won't allow us to listen. Pride stops us from hearing the truth. Listen, that's a big one. Pride will stop you from hearing the truth. Somebody will be, somebody will come and try to share the truth in love, and pride won't even allow you to hear the truth. Pride won't allow you to hear the truth, all right? Pride won't allow us to listen and won't allow us to hear the truth. Pride stops us from being one with others because it causes us not to share our sin and our fault. It takes a lot of humility to show up here on Facebook Live pretty much every day sharing all my faults. And I'm talking about me, like me. 
It takes a lot of humility to do that. And there was a time where I wouldn't share anything that I was going on. I wouldn't share any of my struggles because pride wouldn't allow me to do that. So the more I began showing up on Facebook Live and practicing being transparent, you know, because I found the more transparent I was, the more that it blessed others. And I'm like, you know, pride will tell you, don't share, don't tell that. People are going to think this, they are going to think that, they're going to say this. And it's like going back to who are they anyway? Who are they? Who is they? Who, 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 is, who are they? You know, so pride won't allow you to do that. And, you know, there's a lot of freedom in being transparent, sharing your, tra your, your testimony, you know, talking about the things that the Lord has done. The more that I do that, um, the more healing that took place, not only in my life and the life of others. Can y'all hear me? Somebody's saying the sound is off. All right. So pride stops us from letting go. What pride does, it wants to seek revenge. You know, pride does it. Oh, thank you. Um, pride won't let you let go of things. It said it wants you to seek revenge. But we're reminded this morning, you know, when Moses was opposed, it says he didn't ball up his fist. He fell on his face. And when he fell on his face, the earth opened up and swallowed his adversaries. Let God fight your bad battles, but pride won't allow you to do that. Yes, your trans yes, transparency causes freedom, and I've learned that. And so that's why pride will tell you to keep your mouth closed. You know, shame will tell you to keep your mouth closed. But I have found, look, I'm telling it all because for me I find that you know Satan you have nothing on me you have nothing on me you have nothing on me so the more I share the more I talk the more free I feel <laughs> the more free I feel you know I'm like ha you have nothing on me right now that secret that you had me hanging on to for all these years I told now what you have nothing on me all right so pride stops us from letting go and pride all right so let's see what did I have here so I wrote, pride is deceptive and it will make you believe it's your friend and just trying to protect you. So I have a document here and it's called 50 Fruits of Pride, 50 Fruits of Pride. And there are literally 50 Fruits of Pride written down here. Um, and I know that I cannot go through all of them because it's a lot of information, but it's really helpful information. So after this broadcast, I'm going to share the link and I really want you to print this off. It's three pages and read through it. Don't speed read through it. You know, kind of read over maybe one to five fruits a day um, and kind of just read it and meditate on it. Go to the word, see what the word says about um, pride because there are so many fruits of pride. And this will help you to see if you are operating in pride. You know, pride is insecure. You know, it's self-critical. It's overly competitive. It's self-serving. Um Pride is, you know, makes you feel special or superior, where you think highly of yourself, you feel deserving of things, you're ungrateful, you're insensitive, you're jealous, you're envious. So these are all the all fruits of pride. So 50 fruits of pride. So when I drop this link in there, please print the PDF off and, and read it. Please print this off. Can y'all do that for me? Type a number two if you plan on listening and, 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 and or type in pride if you plan on printing this off, you know, because I believe that this will really bless you all, you know, because it is the truth that sets us free. You know, what we're doing this morning is snatching the covers off the enemy and we're just exposing him because, again, a lot of us are walking in pride and we don't know it, but we're about to know the truth, right? Because it's, it's the truth that sets us free. So um, there are lots of fruits of pride and you may look at this and may find, you know, some of this fruit in your life or all of this fruit in your life um, but whatever it is sit before the Lord and the great thing is that if you know you do see any of this fruit in your life now you know and you need to get you can get before the Lord and pull it up by the root and pull it up by the root and pull it up by the root <laughs> Be like fruit you got to go you get to pull it up by the root okay all right so I love y'all I love you all yes pride will make you envy Ooh, listen Pride is an ugly spirit. Pride is an ugly spirit. Hashtag ask me how I know. And when someone told me that I had I was full of pride, you know, pride wouldn't let me see it at first. And then I got home and I said, God, you know, was she right? You know, I trust her. She's a trusted voice in my life. And surely she wasn't just trying to hurt me or offend me. Is she right? And he began to show me the fruit 
you know, he began to show me the fruit, you know, that I was self-critical, you know, that I thought I was better, um, better than or could do things better than. He began to show me all the fruit and I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, pride is a very ugly spirit and so is its fruit. <laughs> pride is a very ugly spirit and so is its fruit. And so when you read through this and if you recognize any of the fruit in your life, you can get before the Lord and be like, God, help me pull this up by the root. Pull it up by the root and get rid of it. All right, so I love you all so much. Um, let's go ahead and um, go into our um, declarations. And I wrote, God and pride are like oil and water. They do not mix. God and pride are like oil and water. They do not mix, all right? Um, someone uh, type in hashtag I will read my Bible hashtag I will read my Bible and hashtag I will drink my water <laughs> and I'll go ahead and read our declarations for today and you know what to do if you receive it type I receive it I decree and declare the perfect will of God over my life this day I decree and declare that I will not allow pride to be my guide. And I say that over and over again. I, I, I put that up in a Facebook status over and over again. Because for me, pride used to guide me. Pride used to be my guide. It used to tell me what to do, when to do, how to do it. You know, again, all of its fruit. All of its fruit. So say, I decree and declare that pride will not be my guide. I will not allow pride to be my guide. I decree and declare that I put my trust in the Lord. I decree and declare that I put my trust in the Lord. Somebody say, we bind the ugly spirit of pride in the name of Jesus. We bind that spirit up this morning in the name of Jesus. And we release the spirit of humility in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of pride and we loose the spirit of humility in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of pride and release and loose the spirit of humility in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the power of pride is broken in my life in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that the power of pride is broken in my life in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that all curses of pride are broken off of my life in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that all curses of pride are broken off my life in Jesus' name. So with that, I am asking the Father, our Father in heaven, to deliver us from the spirit of pride. And that was my cry when I came home that day. God, deliver me from the spirit of pride. Deliver me from the spirit of pride. Yes, we bind that ugly spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we loose the spirit of humility in Jesus' name. You know. Deliver us from the spirit of pride. I decree and declare that I will always walk in love. I decree and declare that I will always take a posture of peace. All right, those were our declarations for today. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you that, as you said in your word, in Job 22 and 28, we shall decree a thing, we shall declare a thing, and it shall be established. So, Father, we thank you that as we have made these declarations, that they are being established in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So, let's see. And for those of you that are following along in the One Year Bible, or if you're tuning in for the first time, we are meeting here Monday through Friday at 4.30 a.m. And we are also reading through, yes, y'all type that in, God deliver me from the spirit of pride. God deliver me from the spirit of pride. Deliver me. I thank God he is a deliverer. He is a deliverer, and I thank him for deliverance every day. He has delivered me from so much. So, um, hashtag, I will read my Bible. The link to today's reading is in the captions. Hashtag, I will drink my water. Don't forget to drink your water today. All right, and that's it. All right, I love you all so much. Have an awesome day. And I will share the link to the 50 Fruits of Pride for you all to read and go through so that way you get to see if any of this fruit is operating in your life. And you get to get before the Lord and pull it up by its root, all right? So if you have not shared the video yet, please go ahead and share. Facebook is acting funny, so it's not letting me to do certain things. So if you can share it into whatever groups that you are in where you think will be a blessing to others. And that's all. I need to try to rest my voice. Whew, I need to try to rest my voice. So I love y'all. Have a great day. Don't forget to share the video. All right. I love y'all. Bye.
And y'all, today is Anthony's birthday, so y'all type happy birthday in the comments. Yay! I'm going to put up a post about him, and I need y'all to help me wish Anthony Johnson a happy birthday. Yes! We are getting old, y'all. Somebody say happy birthday, Anthony. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Bye.